Hi friends, it's Sarah from ruffleshandrainboots.com. I just worked out, but I have 15 to 20 minutes before I have to go get my daughter. And I wanted to use these two items, which are acrylic from Xtool and laser safe vinyl from Smoky Hill Designs. I wanna make some Easter cupcake toppers. I'm gonna design and cut these in that time. Stick around and join me for some laser fun. Okay, so I'm going to be using um, the cutter for just paper cutters and a ruler. This is 1 8 yellow from X Tool, and this is the laser safe um, Easter plaid with this 3M on the back. And that means you can stick it to acrylic, you can stick it to wood, you can stick it to MDF. It's some really cool stuff. So anywho, what I'm going to do is I know that my cupcake toppers don't need to be anything more than three inches, right? So I'm going to actually only apply this material to about one and a half of it. So the reason I want to do that is because the acrylic is absolutely food safe. I don't want to put this vinyl in our food. So I'm just going to cut this at one and a half inches and then I'm going to attach it. I found the best way to attach it is actually to remove the plastic on the acrylic and just cut that off. You're not going to need it about three and a quarter inches, maybe high. And you're going to do that on the back as well. And then I'm going to just cut this piece because I only have four that I want to test. So I'm doing four testing on the front cut and four testing on the back cut. I'll tell you without a doubt back wins and I'm going to show you the difference between those. So I'm going to start a little bit away from the edge because I'm not going to be cutting all the way from the edge. I'm going to be making sure this little plastic is out of the way and I'm just going to use my hand. You can also use like a scraper and a brayer to make sure that there's no air holes or air pockets or anything. And then I'm going to do the rest of it and just make sure there's no bumps. I love this stuff on acrylic it's so smooth on acrylic with wood you have to kind of really really do it but you see how there's a haze around it so you can see I cut this two ways again from the top with it facing up and from the back a hundred percent a hundred percent from the back so I'm going to actually design this in XES 2.0, grab a butterfly, grab a bunny, and now they don't have an egg. So what I want to do is actually create an egg by using a circle. The new node management is insanely cool. You're going to highlight the top, push the arrow key a few times, and biggity bam, you have an egg. I'm going to set this to engrave just so you can see it a little better, and then we're going to move on to the NAS. The last one, which is a free design you can grab from my website. These are the Easter basket tags I published on Ruffles and Rain Boots. They're free for everyone, no sign up. And I'm just gonna take this piece, go to the edit node function again in the object menu and delete. If you wanna zoom, you can do command plus or you can use the zoom keys down here. We're gonna delete this inner one. Look at that. And we're gonna hit done to lock those in and then we're gonna take away the big cheekies because that was for names and we don't need that so all we really need is a circle or an oval and if you don't know there's no erase function really inside of XCS so this is how you erase I'm gonna put one shape over this shape position it highlight both of them go to the object menu and then hit combine subtract and it removes it and that allows me to go to the circle menu again and make an oval for just a very simple bunny head now if this is going so fast do not worry it's easy to get in here and tinker be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can um, learn stuff like this i will be sharing a ton of xcs tutorials so now that we have that we just combined and united it and now we're creating a stick i am thinking Certain times I think in Imperial and certain times I think in metric. So I want this to be about a quarter inch wide and I don't really care about the height right now because each of these is going to be adjusted. So I see a problem with one of our files that we brought in this one here. And if you don't know, that is going to cut three pieces because they're not connected. Let me get these other things out of the way real quick and we can work on this. If you hit ungroup, now you have three... <coughs> excuse me, three separate pieces. We're gonna take away one of the antenna, make the other one much thicker and bigger. We're gonna position it into place. And then you can just, again, size it to whatever you want, but I want it to be pretty sturdy. I'm gonna copy paste it, which you can also 
right click to do or Command C, Command V. I'm going to come to the object menu and reflect horizontally. And then I'm going to position it and make everything top align. Look at that. And you can group it, but I'm, not, I'm going to group it and then I'm going to unite it. So select everything and hit this combine unite. Now we have one piece to cut. Easy, right? So I'm going to make all these about 1.8 inches tall. Again, this part will change another portion of the time and I'll show you and explain why I'm doing it. Okay, so I'm just going to align these at the bottom. Again, all this is going to change. I'm going to duplicate this stake uh, three times so that I have four stakes total. Now on the butterfly, you're actually going to lose that little body at the bottom. It's okay, but we're going to make a couple changes again using the really cool node management tool that Xtool added. So on this bunny, do you see what's bothering me? I have sharp edges and I have curved edges and as a designer that drives me mad. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to show you what we can do to fix it. So when you click on the bunny by itself, you can go edit node. You can double click these nodes to round some off. To select a node, you highlight it with your mouse. To add a new node, you just click on that path. Now, this will take some getting used to. I know the pen tool in Illustrator. This will be the most frustrating part of your entire existence. But when you learn it, it's brilliant. Select each of the stakes and the item. Do combine unite. And now we get to the fun part. Inside of XCS 2.0, they have worked on loading materials with cut settings, score settings, and engrave settings loaded. So let's just choose this 1.8 orange. This is an acrylic at three mils in thickness. You can see it's loaded there. If you're using the honeycomb, you'd have to add your honeycomb depth. But look, if you click on the item and choose cut, if it says reference underneath it, look at this. It's power, speed, and pass is already in there. If you hit this easy set panel, a little picture will pop up and you can even click on that picture and choose your settings based on what it looks like. This is great for engraving, by the way. So there's two options here. You have user defined and reference. Now reference is the one we just looked at. You've chosen your material in the previous screen and now you've got your loaded settings. I am using user defined. And what happens is inside this easy set panel, I'm just going to type in my settings, which for this happen to be 70 and 13. Now you can play with it, whatever works for you. I run material tests on absolutely everything I have. I will also have to manually enter mine or use the auto distance measure because I'm on a honeycomb. Now, if you notice, this looks a little different than when I loaded it. These two yellow markers show where my vinyl is placed on the back side. So I cut this with the vinyl side up and I cut it with the vinyl side down. Absolutely vinyl side down. I'm going to show you the results of both of these. I use that close view just to get in here. I'm going to select these, move them. And even on the bottom, I'm going to select the nodes for these just to make them all the same height. Here we go, node management here. And then we're gonna set, we're gonna turn off this close view by hitting uh, the right click on our mouse and that'll just close it. And then we're going to set this, obviously, uh, rectangle to ignore. All my cut settings are in and now we can process it. Really cool, you can see the laser trajectory which also helps you make sure that you've got everything on your um, output settings. And you can see quick work, look at this, so fast. I love this machine. If you have any questions about the Xtool P2, let me know. Here's the difference. This is cut with the vinyl on the bottom and this dark edge is when it's cut with the vinyl on top. So you may have to do an adjustment for yours, but mine looks so much better when I mirror the design and cut it on the bottom. You can see I didn't mirror this one so you could see the difference. And then look at that. In less than 15 minutes, we designed and created an entire set of Easter cupcake toppers using acrylic and laser safe vinyl. You can get all the links for everything below and please subscribe for more laser crafting tutorials.